Hi and welcome to next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this very simple echo effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need is we need to open up a new composition. I'm just going with 1920 by 1080 and I'm just uh, pressing OK. I then need to create a nice gradient background. So I'm going to start with a new solid. Just press OK. And then I'm going to go over to my effects and presets and I'm just going to grab the gradient ramp and drag it to my solid. I then need to go to color hunt to get some colors to put on my gradient ramp. So I'm just going to put in that color there and I'm just going to use this yellow as well. Cool. So now I'm just going to change the ramp to a radial ramp and I'm just I'm just going to set the start and end points over here and I'm just going to move it until I'm happy with it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Looks good. If you want to swap the colors, you can, but I'm going to keep that. So the next thing that you need is you need to grab some text. So just click on the T tool, click anywhere on your screen and then you can write whatever text you want. I'm just going to again go to color hunt to get my colors for my text and I'm just going to paste it in there. I need to make sure that my stroke is white and I need to make sure that I've set it to 2. Now you can go bigger if you like but for the moment let's just keep it at 2. So now what I need to do is I need to center that text. So I need to come over here and hold control and double click on the pan behind uh, anchor point tool and that will bring that anchor point into the middle. So then I can go to my align settings and I can just put my uh, text right in the middle. So now we need to create our keyframes for our text. Now from the video at the start you can see that the echo came in from the top and then it left the screen. So what I need to do is I need to press P for position on my, on my keyboard and then I need to click on the stopwatch. But now I'm going to bring the text up until it's off the screen. So I just need to move it up slightly until it's off the screen and then I'm going to hold shift and press page down and move uh, for 10 frames and then I'm just going to bring it back down to the middle by hitting the align vertically. So then I'm going to do the same process on the other side. So I'm going to go from about let's say one second, I'm going to set a keyframe and then I'm going to hold shift, press page down, move 10 frames and then I'm going to move it until it's off the screen. So now that's looking pretty good. Now all we need to do is we need to easy ease these keyframes. So right click, go to easy ease and then we need to click on our graph editor and what we are going to do is we're just going to click on one side, drag it to the middle and then we're going to click on the other side to create this kind of uh, ramp. So we're going to do the same for this side as well and we're going to bring them both into the middle just like that. So now when I preview that, it comes in and then it goes out. That's looking pretty nice. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create the trail. So what I need to do here is I just need to duplicate that by pressing Control D and I'm just going to call this um, Echo Trail. And I'm just going to put it underneath that uh, text layer. So now with that with this trail text layer uh, selected, we need to go to our effects and we need to write in echo. So now I'm just going to double click that until it appears over here. So now we need to change some of these settings. So the first thing we're going to change is we're going to change the echo time. So I'm just going to drop that to just put a one in there. I'm going to change the number of echoes to probably about 30. And you can already see it's looking a little bit funky. And I'm just going to change the composite in front. Now, it's looking alright, but we need to change the color. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab a color. And then I'm going to go back to make sure you're on the echo trail layer. And just double click this to change the color. Put the color in. And cool, it's looking good. So, now if we replay that back. 
we've got the word echo coming in and you've got that nice blue trail leading behind it. Now, the final thing that we can do to this is if we go back to our main um, echo layer, we can increase the stroke size to probably about maybe 10, something like that. And you can play around with the colors and you can you know do all sorts of things with this so you can make the animation come from left to right you can make it bounce and wherever you make the animation come from um, the trail will also follow with its own set of colors so it's a really cool effect inside of after effects so the last thing that you can do now is if you want to increase the size look if you can try and increase the size here, but it's going to ruin the rest of the effect. So what you can do is you can go to um, and add a new null object. And then if you parent both those, uh, the trail and the actual text to that null object, and then you go to scale by pressing S on the null object, you can then scale them both up together. And so that's a cool way to make your text bigger if you've already done the the echo trail but anyways guys that's about it uh, the last thing that you can do is you can shorten your composition settings so I'm just gonna bring it all the way down to only a couple of seconds yeah, and then I can trim comp to work area and then I can export that so anyways thanks for watching I hope you learned something and I will see you next time